doing what I was supposed to, getting outside of my truck, doing a pre-trip at the truck stop, and good old Prime dumped an entire container of his piss out the fucking window onto me. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Dumped an entire container of his piss out the fucking window onto me. A prime driver in the truck stop had dumped piss all over this young lady. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I wish what I'm about to tell you was like the ultimate practical joke. I wish I was kidding. 10,000 black cats must have walked past me and I turned around and run them over while they were standing on mirrors. I have just spent the last like 45 minutes bawling and scrubbing my body in the shower. By far the absolute worst day of my career and the absolute worst day of my life today. I literally want to start crying because... Not me doing what I was supposed to, getting outside of my truck, doing a pre-trip at the truck stop, and good old Prime dumped an entire container of his piss out the fucking window onto me, and then drove off, said sorry I didn't see you, and I tried to get a shower at the truck stop I was at, <clears throat> and they were full, so I drove crossed the street to the other truck stop embarrassingly had to walk in smelling like some other dude's piss to go get a freaking shower the irony of this thing is that we were literally parked so close to the freaking truck stop throw your shit away or go inside to fucking pee all right guys you heard it for yourself so wow that's that's crazy <laughs> you know Nasty drivers like this one right here that that just raids down the window and just dump his piss all over the all over the ground. You know, you you can you can look at this and say, hey, he felt lazy, he just didn't want to get out, or whatever the case. But in this situation right here, you know, she was the victim of uh being in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of crazy. I mean, how could the guy that was dumping out his bodily fluids not see the young lady on the side of the truck? Did he do it on purpose? I don't know. I hope he didn't. I honestly hope that he just didn't notice that she was there. You know. But yeah, this is kind of embarrassing for this young lady right here to get, you know, piss dumped on. But a lot of people in her comment session is over here being uh being ruthless. Like, like this one right here says, yo, I hope you get his information and turn him into his company. There is absolutely no excuse for that. True true but think about this what is the company going to do right what is the company going to do well i tell you let's find out what the company did because she did come back with another video hold on here for an update first of all thank you so much to people who gave me actual phone numbers and, and messaged me with that kind of information uh, because i did try calling like prime's main line and they did not care it was a great conversation i had that conversation itself made me so glad that i don't work with that company to be quite honest but i was finally able to like reach out to somebody um i think anyways and as far as I know, it's being taken care of, but that's the extent of that. Unfortunately, like, I don't believe I'm the first person that that's happened to. Um, and I'm sure I won't be the last. So, appreciate everybody's comments, though, too. Uh, mainly the part of videoing that, it was really, actually, really hard for me to video that. But I just want to bring awareness, because I've been doing this for, like, five years now. And that's unacceptable, honestly. I have like PTSD standing outside now. 
All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So- well, as you guys could see, <laughs> calling the company and to complain about a driver, you know, dumping bodily fluids on me is <laughs> it's not much of a concern to the company. They're like, hey, okay, we'll talk to the driver. We'll we'll let the driver know not to not to do that no more. We'll we'll talk to the driver to make sure that nobody is around when you decide to raise down your window and dump your bodily fluids on the ground. I mean, I I understand us male drivers, you know, we have a tendency of when we have to use the bathroom but we got to run, we 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 got our little our little bottles right here. You know? We we got them. We got our little bottles bottles right here. I I got mine. What I do, I get out and usually there's grass behind the truck, field behind the truck. You know, the same place where, you know, the truck drivers take their pets and everything. That's what I do. I go back there, dump it. You know, fertilize the grass back there. That's 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 what I do with my my bodily fluids. I don't I don't dump it out the window because I just feel like that's kind of nasty. That's kind of yeah. And it, it just don't look right either when you you in the middle of the truck stop or or you in a in the truck parking lot and you you happen to dump bodily fluids. You you have to get out of the truck, walk through that, and then bring that back into your truck. So what I do, like I said, I, I'll walk to the back because when I do my pre-trip or post-trip for that matter. I will walk around my truck and while I'm walking around my truck, I got my I got my bodily fluids and I will dump it on my way back up to the truck. Oh, this coffee smells like shit. I'm sorry that this happened to this young lady. And by the way, you cleaned up real real in this video. Look at them. Look, look at the eyebrows, y'all. She looked totally different from her first video. <laughs> Crazy, right? But let's uh, go back to a few more comments because, like, these guys over here talking about, oh, he would have got his ass whooped. He would have did this. I would have bust out the windows. And one of them even went as far as to say that, yeah, that deserves a fifth wheel pulling. Really? That deserves a fifth wheel pulling? say it was an accident because like I say he didn't notice that she wasn't I mean that she was there maybe I don't know I mean he did turn around and say oh my bad said sorry I didn't see you my bad and of course <laughs> she did feel embarrassed and and you know hey I, I gotta go in here and just wash up or whatever but a fifth wheel pulling though? You'll pull somebody fifth wheel? You'll you'll put somebody else lives in danger simply because somebody, you know, dumped bodily fluids on you by accident. I, I don't think it was purpose. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't think it was purpose. I see you guys do it, y'all, y'all pour it out. Y'all, y'all raise down the window and just pour it out right there. You know, that's why some of these truck stops be like have the most horrible smells. Like you could tell that, you know, y'all get out, y'all piss around y'all truck, y'all dump your bodily fluids out of y'all truck. Yeah, you, you, you could tell it is just, just, just horrible. Oh, this coffee smells like shit. Horrible. This one right here says, anytime I step out to do a pre-trip, I have a tire thumper. So he would have needed a new window and probably mirror as well. Hmm. And you get you you guys is vicious. Y'all, y'all waking up and choosing violence. Like, I mean, if the guy just, you know, if he did it on purpose, then I understand. But if it was an accident, like he didn't see you. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm 
I'm going to leave it up to you guys, though. Let, let me know what you guys think, because, you you know, maybe my thought process will probably be different. I never had I, I never had bodily fluid fleeing my way or dumped on me. A lot of you guys will say what y'all going to do if y'all was in that situation. But would you really do it if you really was in that situation? Because I'm sure when it was done to her, she was like shocked. Like she probably had a moment of of brain freeze like did that just happen and prime is already gone so how is she going to retaliate but of course you guys in the chat session in the comment session did come back gave her all the information she need to call the company now is that snitching is is that snitching would you be a snitch if you called police and told them? If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and tell anybody on him, but I'd probably move. I mean, I, it is that snitching. Like, she got, she, she got bodily fluids flung her way, maybe by mistake, not on purpose. And she called the company to to complain about it. I mean is there I mean what what the company gonna say to the driver though for real for real what what is the company gonna say to him hey driver uh next time you in the truck stop parking lot just make sure you look around before you you know you dump your bodily fluids out of the window uh, because I did try calling like crimes mainline and they did not care it was a great conversation I had that conversation itself made me so glad that I don't work with that company, to be quite honest. But I was finally able to like reach out to somebody, um, I think, anyways. The driver right here said at least he dumped it instead of throwing the bottle on the ground. I've seen plenty of that. <laughs> I, it's, <laughs> the driver, it's still no cause for that, though. But again... Like I said, he probably just rolls down the window and just kind of like fling it out. I mean, how could you not see her? You know, she's a, she looks like she's a plus size woman and I'm sure you probably couldn't miss her. God, this coffee smells like shit. This driver right here says, that's why I don't park in truck parking lots. All right, we, we could say that. We can all say that. But we want to eventually park in the truck parking lot eventually. I mean, I could say, hey, I don't park in truck parking lots at all. But if there's a spot and I can get it, then I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> I am there. This driver says that prime driver will be a perfect example of why we have a bad image in the public eye. Yeah. Yeah, because you see, you you see drivers toss out they 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 bodily fluids bottles all the time. They toss it outside. They, you know, they get in the road rage. You know what's coming your way, especially if you cut us off and we get close to you. You know what's coming the way. Drivers, that's my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids that went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart could bars, you got pops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Elephant to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.